What's up everybody? We're out here again. Welcome back to the channel. We are out here on this little uh little farm pond out here near or near uh near Charlotte. I think it's called uh, Lake Lake Norman. Small small lake out here. A little 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 bit of boat traffic, a little a couple a couple boats out here. <laughs> so uh out here on Lake Lake Norman in the winter time, so definitely winter time you can see I've got a short sleeve shirt on so uh, we're having a warm a warm front come through here it's about 60, 60 degrees 65 degrees it's supposed to be around 60 65 all day today kind of part, partly cloudy stuff like that so um, I only get out here about once twice a year a couple times a year usually it's it's about this time of year you know I haven't been out here since I think February yeah it's been you know, 10, 10 months since I've been out here so <clears throat> we're gonna check around a couple spots i think uh i don't really know where these fish will be because with it being so warm in the middle of winter time the fish are going to want to be out deep but they're also going to be up shallow because of the because of how warm it is so we're gonna we're gonna check some deep stuff right quick see how see how that goes see if i can see if i can find some fish out deep and then we'll probably there's some fish right there We'll probably head up shallow, check out some docks and things like that. There's always fish on docks all year round out here on Norman. So again, that's one of my favorite things to do. So kind of pick pick around a little bit of both, see which one works best, and uh, we'll roll with that. Definitely got karate chopped. <laughs> okay. There's fish right here. Those are spots. Spotties. Oh no, my bait. <clears throat> oh no. Ew. Oh, oh, he's throwing up fish all over me. Oh, drop shots kind of lend themselves to line twist. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Calm down. Take it down a notch. Slightly larger. <laughs> still, still quite a bit smaller than what we're looking for. Show. Sure. y'all can see that but there's seagulls all the way back in that pocket diving on something it's time it's time of year is fish will fish will school up bait they'll school under bait fish and stuff like that whenever they're busting them seagulls are gonna be the obvious thing telling you where the fish are so uh, might kind of head head that direction see if there's a school of fish roaming around somewhere in there it's actually got some size to it What do we got? Just trolling this jerk bait just because I'm moving. Anytime I'm moving, might as well have something out there. <laughs> Anytime I'm moving, might as well have something going on. So. Oh, spot. 
as big as that jerk bait is. What are you doing? Look at that thing. <laughs> There's any friends in it. Hello there. Goodbye. <laughs> a little bit better one. Right in whatever that whatever that piece of brush or some kind of brush and stuff down there. It's a little bit better little spot. More along the lines of the size that we're, that we're looking for. Cool. Get you back down there. Senkos. There he is. <sighs> oh, we don't lose him. Get him in the boat. There we go. All right. Are you the one taking my Senkos down there? Hmm? What do you got in what do you got in your belly? Who is he? Yeah, you know, keep her keep her spot. A little 12, 14 incher. <laughs> Just watch that thing start rocketing down and I'm like, wait a minute. There's, there's my Nico fish. Oh. oh I knew it. I saw that coming a mile away you yeah just torpedoes super super long fish skinny probably weighs half a pound <laughs> a little spot the one I thought it was going to be on. Get a little spot. A little spotty spot.
Nico strikes again. <laughs> Large mouth. That is a large mouth. There we go. Hmm. That's cool. <clears throat> On that deeper side. Got a little chunky large mouth. I thought I saw that fish on the side scan. I thought I saw that fish on the side scan. It's like it really did look like a fish. Let's see. Yeah, that that right there. That that right there. You can see the shad the shadow of it. I think that's that was probably that fish. What in the world? How are you hooked up there? How are you hooked in the eyeball? Hmm. Fun, fun fish. Had me around all kinds of pylons and everything. Whole school followed him out. That's a good one. That's a really good one. I saw it stop sinking. <laughs> oh man. Yes. watching it and it just stopped sinking before it should. <laughs> knew knew some, something was off there. Something was a little off. So. <laughs> oh. good one that's a really good one I saw it stop sinking <laughs> oh man watching it and it just stopped sinking before it should. <laughs> I 
knew, knew some, something was off there. Something was a little off. No. <laughs> oh. Pretty decent ones out here. That was in February, and yeah, it was in February. Pre spawn the fish were using this channel to go back there and go where, go where they were going to spawn, and they were running up against this bank. I saw some fish on it for a depth finder. Died. I know they're here. I know they're here. I don't even need the depth finder. I know where y'all are. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Don't even need it. I can catch y'all without it. Right in the, right in the lips. Right there on the lips. Get you back out there. All right, y'all. I'm heading in. We'll call it, call it for the day. I'm gonna go enjoy some of the nice five o'clock Charlotte traffic that we have out here. Uh, overall. Pretty, pretty good day. They didn't catch any of the, the giant spots that are out here. Caught the one that's probably two and a half pounds or so. Everything else was like in the one pound, pound and a half range. But I managed to catch fish on the everything. I say caught fish on jerk baits. Caught fish on. I guess caught a bunch of fish on drop shot. And so I managed to catch one on the wobble head, which was awesome. Star of the day, the uh, the Nico rig, Nico rig flick shake. I uh, kind of testing out the Nico rig versus the versus the flick shake. I, I know some guys that throw it out here quite a bit, and they catch a lot of fish on it. So I, I, I grabbed a little uh, Nico rig starter kit, and started throwing that, and started using that, and messing around with it, and I I like it. I like it because it skips a lot better, it casts a lot better, it sinks like a rock. It's, it's awesome in that regard. I don't like it in the, in the fact that you know you're losing senkos left and right, I'm losing those weights left and right. Uh, I, I think I think the uh, I think all the pros though are gonna far outweigh the cons. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go run by the Bass Pro out here and pick up a whole bunch of Nico stuff like that and just kind of uh, restock on it and keep on keep on rolling with it because that. The Nico rig it skips, it skips so much better, it sinks to the bottom so much faster than the flick shake does. It's a lot more finesse presentation, you're not having the weights and they're bouncing up and down. So I, I think I think I'm gonna add that uh add that to the add that to the arsenal and start start working around with that. I did I did lose a lot of fish on the Nico rig. I don't know if they were spots just grabbing one end of it and they weren't eating the whole thing or or it was the hook itself, but Again, first time messing with it, I'm gonna play around with that as time goes on. Uh, as far as fish go, they, they seem to be a little bit deeper today. I figured, I figured with how warm it was gonna be, they would be a lot shallower. But most of my fish came from 15 to 20, that 15 to 20 range. I, I, caught, I, caught, caught, I caught a few here and there, caught some, caught some here and there that were uh, that were in like four to five feet of water off docks and stuff like that. But, I think the vast majority were still all out deep under, under the marinas and stuff. Whenever, whenever you get up shallow, there, there are a lot of fish up shallow. I think those fish are a lot more skittish though. So you, you, you gotta be a lot more careful with the presentation up shallow, out, out deep. You can, you can sit on top of them, they don't care. They just kind of get, get all over them, and get all over them and catch them. But whenever you get up shallow, it starts to get into like, you have to make a really long cast really long cast you have to be really accurate with it you can't hit the docks can't do anything like that so I think if I come back come back out here again I'll probably come back out here again in, the, in another week or two 
try and try and make it out here again. Then we'll concentrate on deep, deep again, see if I can find some more spots. All the places I fished, except for that last one right over there, I've never fished before. I just kind of riding around, looking at spots, say, hey, that looks good. Let's go catch some fish on it. Uh, all the docks, I don't think I've ever fished any of those docks before. So, I mean, it's just kind of picking, picking around, see, see what works, see what doesn't. So, uh, overall, I, I'd, say, I'd say it was a great day. I don't even know how many fish caught, 20, 30. Probably, probably 20, probably 20 fish out here. 20, 25. Seems, seems, seems like, seems like quite a bit. So, overall, I'd say that's, that's an awesome day, and uh, I, I love, I love spots. I love coming out here and catching spots. They're, they're, they're gorgeous, gorgeous fish. They're always, you know, lit up with colors all over the place. They're super, super aggressive. You don't have to sit there and finesse them like largemouth and get a little finicky sometimes. You, you throw a lure up, up there, and they're just all congregating and running towards it trying to grab it so that, that that's awesome uh, i love i love coming out here so uh, oh awesome awesome day so guys thanks thanks for watching i'll see y'all next time